screen before when I booted it up briefly. I need to I need this more this way so I can see chat. Uh, I did remember to turn off my phone, right? I did. Good job. Um, took a while to load there. Dan and Gary Games. Uh, why is there no sound? I don't recall touching the sound. Uh, y'all should use a controller. Y'all? Don't you mean just you? We're not all playing. Yeah. Options. Yeah, well, sounds up. Huh, okay. New game. Single player. Apparently you can do local co-op. I don't know who the big bold guy is. <laughs> this cannot be changed later. Choose wisely. The standard Daryl adventure. Experience high school again as a weird new kid. I don't know what the newspaper in the background says, because I assume it's too This game does not autosave. Make sure to visit the bathroom often. Alright. That's good to know. Ooh, we've got a slow piano in the rain. someone got shot, I think. Uh, trench coat kid, who's smoking a doobie by the looks of it. The jig is up, Detective Daryl! We got your woman, we got your textbooks, it's all over for you. Not so fast, trench coat, if that is your real name, you are under arrest for breaking the law. It's your jig that's about to be up. We'll see whose jig is up when we're all busy dying. Ugh. Oh my god. He won't get away with this, Detective Daryl. He's a big, strong man who isn't afraid of thugs like you. Keep it up and you'll be joining Detective Allen. See you in hell, Detective Daryl. <coughs> Looks like my jig is <coughs> just about toast, buddy. I really thought we had him this time. <sighs> no use standing around watching me bleed out in this cold, dark alleyway. <coughs> You'll get your woman back. Oh, so I guess it's not Alan's woman. Just promise me you'll tell mine <sighs> that I won't be coming home for <sighs> Chicken Wing Wednesday. Alright, controls. Duck, move, A to jump. I have skills. Uh, X, I do a finger gun. Y, some sort of banana boomerang. Oh, and there's a. Uh, hang on, over to the left here. Uh, tap. Oh, that's my other skill. Other, other skill, like flaming kick. All right, so tap. Skills have cooldowns. Train skills together to attack efficiently. All right. I have health points. I've. Why am I level? Wrong button to uh to uh kick. It's right button, left trigger. Uh, left button is to do whatever I need to do here. Enter this door, I guess. Uh, it's a little dark. A little too dark. Why am I at level 44 anyway? Is this like a prologue? Hey, you best buddy. Octo Paul, how you doing? 
need no need to be so grave. Don't you worry about what happened to Detective Allen. You are always my favorites. I know. How about some textbooks to get your mind off this? Fighting a boss or just the goon? Uh oh, buddy, here comes more of them. Don't worry. How about some textbooks? Yeah, he said that already. Yeah, I was just about to go. What a super detective sound. Um, I can still see you. Or maybe you can still see me, rather. Alright, let's go in this door. You want your woman back, Detective Darrow? Well, she's mine until my jig is up. And right now, my jig is all the way up here. Come and get her, Detective Daryl. Change skills at your locker. Uh, what are my skills? You're gonna let me change? You gonna land? I don't know how. Man. Uh, it said left button to change, but this guy's not even landing, so I don't know. I guess screw him. Where am I going? Am I going this way or am I going that way? Also, am I sort of like max level? Oh, I need a key. I can't just kick this lock off. Alright. Too slow, detective. Maybe next time, if your jigs last that long. Textbook has a lot of health. I want to murder this textbook. Oh, great, more textbooks just spawn. Okay, let's not worry about the textbooks. I thought I might get something.
I think all the enemies respawn. Uh, let's use this key. Alright, enter this door. Depository of Doom. Zar Bomber. This is where the jig ends, Detective Daryl. It's just you, me, your woman, all your textbooks, and this empty room full of dynamite. Turn around and I won't have to blow your, your books straight to the moon. Another step, and the woman gets it. Don't listen to him, Daryl. He's serious. No! Well, that takes care of Detective Daryl. <clears throat> you have to get up, Detective Daryl. Do it for me. Get up, Daryl. Do it for all of us. The power of friendship must overcome it. The power of evil. And also, now let me go have a different voice. Ooh. <clears throat> uh. No. What's happening? <clears throat> uh, I seem to be getting random amounts of XP. The power of friendship is rejuvenating him. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Your jig isn't up just yet. This, this can't be. My plans are ruined. Detective Daryl, you're alive. And briefly muscular. You did it, pal. Now solve this case like the detective you are. Ash, so this is how it is, huh? I should have known that the mighty Detective Daryl couldn't be stopped by mere bullets alone. A round of old-fashioned fisticuffs it is, then. I don't mind killing you in front of your woman a second time, but you better hurry because this place is about to blow sky high. You can't be You can't be Detective Daryl. I don't have to. This place is about to blow. Destroying you and all your textbooks. I ain't gonna stick around to watch it happen. Good luck getting your woman out in time, Detective Daryl. <clears throat> you did it, Detective Daryl. Quick, untie me before this building explodes. Uh, the bomb has clearly says error. You're my hero, Detective Daryl. So big and strong. How about we go back to my place and I'll make you a big batch of cookies? Uh, that sounds pretty Darryl? good. Daryl? Are you listening to me? Oh. Daryl? I guess this was all just a dream sequence. Hey! Have you heard a goddamn thing I've been telling you? Probably not. Son of a bitch. I also don't have kneecaps. This guy's got kneecaps. Alright, we'll start over. Quit daydreaming and pay attention this time for Christ's sakes. It all started 40 years ago. Crikey. Were you even born 40 years ago? Waterfalls High School, 40 years ago. And now it is my honor to proudly introduce the valedictorian and salutatorian for the Waterfalls graduating class of 1975. Both students have demonstrated unwavering dedication to their academics while astoundingly supporting successful leadership positions in every club and sport on campus. 
clubs and sports which have, under their guidance, claimed number one spots in every club and sport championship around the world. Clubs and sports that the President of the United States of America himself awarded the prestigious Most Admirable Clubs and Sports Award last spring, the first of its kind in the country. Their service and charity to the Water Falls community is far-reaching and has lifted our modest town out of obscurity into the ranks of the great civilizations of antiquity. From single-handedly raising money to construct the town's first and only municipal airport for homeless dogs and cats, to successfully converting the Tri-County area into the world's first peaceful, ethical, and prosperous communist local government. Surely, one can only dream of the wonders these boys have in store for the galaxy and beyond. Without further ado, I invite to the podium the valedictorian Eli Bavarius and the salutatorian Ken Hangerman to move us all once again with some words of wisdom. Uh, please, boys, let's hear what you have to say on this joyous occasion. What's the difference between a valedictorian and a salutatorian? Thank you, Principal Buttersworth. Gosh, it certainly has been a crazy ride. And what an honor. But let's not fool ourselves. Kent and I couldn't have done it all without the help of our school and the wonderful community. All our hard work means nothing without you. Please, give yourselves a hand. Later that day. <clears throat> what a wonderful way to end this chapter of our lives. Sitting here atop this hill, basking in all we've done today, and all we've yet to do tomorrow. I think we can really change the world, Eli. Think how far this momentum can take us. It's a new chapter, Kent, especially with every top college on Earth begging for our attendance. You know, I was serious about what I said at graduation. Which part? All of us. The part about not being able to do all we've done without the help of our community. If we hadn't shown our town the ways of love, tolerance, and cooperation, we had never cured seasonal allergies or resuscitated that frozen mammoth. I know we can reach whomever we wish to reach. I've been thinking. Hmm. Well, there's a surprise. Well, hold on. It's crazy. See, I've been researching world peace lately, and my findings suggest that the most peaceful periods on Earth have occurred around the release of best-selling self-help books. We've already proven we can help people help themselves huh. locally. Just imagine what we could achieve if we employed the paramount tool for reaching the masses. Self-help, huh? What a novel idea. A book that helps people help each other through helping themselves. Our writings could usher in the next golden age. Ah, but we can't get ahead of ourselves. We have to visualize our goals as small steps. You know, like a staircase. Yeah, our staircase to success will ensure our dreams come true. Gosh, you know, Kent, with our heads together, I've no doubt that our climb to the top of those stairs will be as smooth as an escalator. A smooth, gliding escalator. Gliding? I think you're thinking of travelators. Oh, that was all just the, the uh, the prologue. Also, neither of them looked old to have been attending um, high school. They looked like they were about Pleasure 10. Pleasure to meet you, Daryl Whitelaw. My name is Mr. Roboto, and I am the vice principal here. Domi Arigato. As you know, Water Falls High School is the finest school in the state. We pride ourselves on the beauty and safety that our campus offers. This institution boasts a vast network of friendly, helpful students for you to use at your disposal. If you What's ever need help, Mountain do not be afraid to reach out to any Dummy. of your peers or faculty. Of course, academics are our number one priority. There's nothing we care about more than the success of our students. 
To ensure your success, we have designed the perfect habitat for adolescents to learn and pupate into upstanding citizens. Just make sure you have a hall pass! Now that we are friends, here is your class schedule. What do you think of your classes? I don't know. Oh, what a study hall. And gym. Yes, Daryl. That schedule will be your guide to success here at Waterfalls. You're going to do just fine. Classes are about to begin soon. If you would follow me, I will show you to your very own personal storage unit. Cool. Where I will probably be stored since I'm pretty skinny. This locker is yours. You'll be accessing it frequently throughout the day. It's a very important part of your high school experience. Oh look, there are some new friends now. Paul, Alan, this is Daryl. Daryl, this is Paul and Alan. See, it's easy to make friends. Have fun! Can I move? Um, who are you? Oh, Alan has to have all di the different voices. I don't know who Paul is. I don't know. I think Paul might have been the the villain. Okay, bye. Oh God, he got closer. Oh, what do you want? What's what's wrong with him? Probably the same thing that's wrong with every other knuckle dragger in this school. Who cares? Don't change the subject. Think. We could have lost it. What about the quad? What about the quad? What? What the? We were just there. You probably dropped it like you drop everything else. Oh please. I'll have you know I've never dropped a thing in my life. Shut up. What are we supposed to do? It's probably blown into the far side by now. Shit, not going out there. Balto's in detention, so he's as useless as always. Who the hell even knows where Tony is? Yeah, yeah. I know. Look, I'm trying to think, but I just can't concentrate with that weird kid staring at us like that. He's freaking me out. Hi there. You must be new. My name's Paul. This is Alan. It's a pleasure to meet meeting you, and whatever, but we're busy at the moment. Tell you what, though. Alan here dropped an important piece of paper in the quad, early. If you go get it back for us, I'll let you stand here and breathe on our air some more. Yep, uh, we'll be our, your best friends, and we could use some flowers too. So while you're there, don't forget to pick some up for us. Friends love flowers. Flowers? What do we- oh, right, yeah, we, we do need flowers, don't we? We sure do. So, uh, a piece of paper and some flowers in return for our friendship. Oh, and don't wander into the far side of the quad. The prince was really strict about that. Got it? <clears throat> Great. You can get to the squad, the quad from the main lobby. Off you go. Uh, can I talk to Abby? Hi, I'm Abby. Nice to meet. Nice meeting you. Love the whole headband thing you've got going on. But I uh, I couldn't help but hear you talking to Paul and Alan. Hey, to you know you what to do, but uh, they pretty much suck. I'd switch locks over you. Half of them are empty now anyway. Oh yeah, and can I, I can't go into the women's. Uh, but this is where you save. Oh, you can quick save. And then manual save in the uh, in the shitter I guess. Uh, yeah, good luck. There's also a mouse. Uh, sorry mouse, uh, I can also go that way. I can't go up. I can also... Alright, so they'll just say, where's our stuff? Tim's locker. Uh, I can't access the science lab. There's Jesse. There's a taller version of me. I haven't seen you around here before. You must be new. Name's Jesse. Welcome to Waterfalls. Gotta say, you picked a great time to transfer. Been in any classes here for three weeks. Too bad no one really comes to school anymore. Are you foreign or something? 
Dude, I can't remember where my locker is. Um, I also can't exit that way. So that's Tim's locker. Wait, who's Tim? I, I'm not Tim, am I? Alright, that's an awful. Another key door. Uh, I don't have any weapons, but I can't even jump. Uh, I guess I'm going through this door. Main office. That's the East Hall. I can get some to Becca. It's strange seeing this school so empty. You're near right. Did you happen to catch a glimpse of the principal's face? As far as I know, no one around here has actually seen him in person yet. Maybe that will change this Friday. Imagine he would give a speech or something. I'd like to know his name at least. Mark, who's a bear. Uh... What are these weirdos? Are these going to be people I have to fight? They do look mysterious. Alright, this should take us to the quad. There goes the paper. Uh, that looks like a dandelion. Why can't I pick that up? A statue. This monument is dedicated to Eli Bavarius and Kent Hangerman, whose boundless brilliance and generosity led us all to world peace, to Waterfalls High School, and allowed their greatness to blossom. I have to hit B to exit. Uh, sidewalk closed. Who's this? Rob Man... Man cheesy. Why does he look like Bobby Hill with a big Texan hat and a mustache? Yeah, I know. I'm not supposed to be out here. What with the new administration coming in and the new principal banning anyone being on the, the side quad of the quad. I don't fear the consequences, though. Yep. With all these other kids disappearing left and right, I almost feel jealous of them. At some point... I'll just uh, been disappear myself, run away from it all. Maybe camp out in the desert and listen to the coyotes, eating beans and barbecue. That's the life. Oh, hey there. Promise not to tear me out of my roots. I'll teach you how to jump. Press A. Ah, getting a little close there. You promised. Uh, no, I already knew how to jump. You taught me nothing. All right, Ann. Can I run? I can run. Uh... I heard Johnny screaming down there. I think someone is picking us. Please jump over here and protect me. Yoink! I also only have a hundred health, but I'm level I am level one after all. Is is that dirt under your fingernails? Uh yeah. And in my pocket. Who's this guy? Squ hey squirrel boy? Uh, God no, did did you lose your nuts too? Uh, what good is a quad if you can't store your nuts? Why is everything floaty and chunky? It wasn't like this last spring. My nuts must have fallen down to the China by now. Ah, oh, I can't go to China. I, I, I don't even have a passport. What the hell is that thing? Oh, I can't go this way. But, hello, moon. Uh, does he say anything di- oh, No, he doesn't say anything different. And I have to hit- I have to go through all his dialogue. Alright. I assume I should just go to them. Um, who wanted the dandelion? Miranda's combo too, are you think? What can I say? I'm having a bad day. 
Uh, this is a lot more than just a bad day. Well, it looks like our bad day is about to get worse because that kid is back. <sighs> Look, unless you have our stuff, you... Oh, you do have our stuff. Oh, those dandelions? That's great. They're like our own handy dandy little flower boy. Social rank level up. Rank one, flower boy. <laughs> See, I knew he'd come back. Hey, buddy. While you were gone, Mr. Robotus stopped by. There's some dork named Daryl left his notebook in the main office. I don't know who Daryl is, and I don't really care, so how does a brand new notebook sound, huh? Friends give each other gifts, you know. Uh, okay. Speaking of gifts, I bet you're curious about what's so important about that paper. It's a friend Tim's locker combination. We took it so we could give him fun gifts all the time. That's what friends do. Uh, and those flowers, you ask, those flowers are exactly what Tim needs to spruce up his lock. Friends love flowers. Now go ahead, put those flowers in Tim's locker for him. It's over there. Just keep the locker combination in your notebook. I'm sure Tim will want more flowers later. Come back when you're done. I have more jobs for you, so you to do so you can earn our friendship. Uh, I don't know what button that is. Oh, it's a select button. Um... Huh. I have equipment as well, apparently. Hat. Shirt. A flea... Alright, so the diamonds are flowers. Okay. Lock... Locker combos. Tim. 397. Prologue. Um... Ooh. I have skills. Friends. Not friends. Um, they look like goblins with fez hats. Uh, that's a map. Side quests. Not... Does that say no... Oh, no side quests. I thought it said not side quests. Keeper of the quests. Oh, uh, hand, hand, hand. I need to check the uh, combo again. 397. How do... Three, nine. Oh, I went the wrong way. Put the dandelions in. Some munch money. Ooh. I don't know if I should have taken the lunch money. Um. How do I put items in the uh? Thing? How do I? How do I? And, oh, do I go to my... Nope, that doesn't work. Um. Uh, I don't see the dandelions in here. But it says I've... Oh, hang on, do I have to hold down the R button? That doesn't do anything. Seriously, how do I put... You've got to be kidding me. You must be the worst dwarfs and druids player I've ever seen. Clue completely oblivious to the number. Keep your quest organized. Do you know what you're supposed to be doing right now? You don't care about d and You'd know to check the quest page to find out your current story quest. Slob, you might know to keep track of all your side quests too. In the quest page. Quest help to keep updated on quests? The box. Probably can't even figure out how to use a pencil. Bet you haven't even kept a journal of all your quests over. Skilled more in that you are. Nobody knows what they're doing. Ooh. Yeah, sure. View a current quest here. So, and where was the quest? It was no, that was that. That was that. It's this one. So yeah, and there's that. And you. And 
I was trying. Oh. Yeah. oh I gotta hit the right triggers to move it along. Available quests. Learning to save. Saving instructor. Skill sorceress. North Hall. Alright. Wait, did I... Alright, so we did that. Oh, there's this guy as well. Gal. Hey there, handsome. You look like you know how to interact with others. Druids, players need to work together to keep things done. Of course, that goes hand in hand with the number one rule. Getting the best skills. Have up to four skills equipped at a time. Uh, lots of different skills we can choose from. My favorite skill is hat summoning. If I look at my wand, I can summon any hat I want. Mean though, and sometimes a bit hard to wear without fighting first. Yeah, sure. Okay. I need to go back in here a second. Oh, hang on. I think I have to actually put on that. Wait, you didn't give me a hat. Man, I can't attack though. There's this kill too. Achieve rank two with disgust differences. Achieve rank three. Yeah, but I don't have any attacks. You can't say, "Hey, uh, attack!" If you're not going to give me anything to attack with. All right, this guy here. You there, wanderer. You look like someone who seeks out excitement and li lives life in the danger zone. Kind when I see it. Dangerous souls like us must stick together and we sure as heck need to obey the number and rule of... I don't think you can save in, in dungeons and dragons or dwarfs and druids. Sure. So here's what you do, every time you find yourself in a dangerous spot, nature calls, just find the nearest bar and head to that store over there. Lose all your health, so it's super lame, so often. Uh, hand. Did I? Hand, did I already? Yeah, I already did it. Alright, cool, cool. I still have no idea how to... I don't think so much about forcefully into someone's locus. That was all the time. We have some friends with flowers, but hey. Alright, maybe it's an invasion of personality. I like to think of it as a service. It takes something every once in a while. Removing improves their life strength. How else will they have enough room to store our products? Dylan, this is what we're all about. Two newest entrepreneurs. Say hello to Paul and Allen of Paul and Allen's Textbook Emporium. Guess what? Let off your job as our new product manager. Congratulations. Just say nothing if you want to accept. <clears throat> Excellent. We got a real go getter here, Paul. Yeah, we, we can't pay you per se, but you can help but notice how repulsive you are to be around. That in the best possible way, in lieu of money, we are offering you this miraculous book that we found in the main office. Good enough for the principals, good enough for you. And mind you, kids who get caught sneaking in there tend to disappear, so you should appreciate that we got this for you. Interacting with others. That's good business, and we went ahead and ripped out all of the pages for you. Good stuff, you'll have to help us nurture our young, fragile business. As a signing bonus, we'll give you the first page for free. How's that sound? You learned a skill. Discuss differences. Job will be to secure as much product as possible. Texts are a really hot commodity at uh, Waterfalls High School, but the trench coat kid and his goons have the market completely locked down. Like a hundred of those bastards, but there's no way you've cleaned up that. So that's where you should start. You get some textbooks. 
We'll give you pages to that book we gave you. We'll make, and you'll make a ton of friends. Funs in no time. Hey! <laughs> yeah, like, we like to have fun around here. Well, give him the key, Alan. The Janus key? Bad at last. But, you know, I didn't... You're the one in charge of keys. Oh, please. I'll have you know I've never owned a key in my life. God damn it. How the hell is our new product manager supposed to manage our product if he can't get into the old classrooms? We should stop it look, looking in your locker for it, since you're the one that lost it. Fine. You're not going to find it there. Alright, Dylan, why don't you find something else to do while we find our next task? I don't know. Meet the other students or something. Oh, by the way, don't carry that self-help book around with you. It's only copy, and if they find out you stole it and ripped the pages out, they'll probably send you to jail. Happens to jail to kids like you? I'd suggest some carrying only a few pages with you at a time and leaving the rest in your lock. It's called plausible deniability. There's your business lesson for today. Get going. Alright, um... Oh, I don't want to quit. Uh, I want to... More of the story. Uh, can I? Ooh, hang on. No, I don't want to do that. Why? Passive skills. Well, I've got a passive skill, but it doesn't do anything. You have friends. Uh, so if I click... Nope. I think I have to... Select? Honestly, I don't know what I'm supposed to do in here. Alright, and Uh, alright, fine. Let's find someone who can teach me a, a skill equipment. Uh, meet the students. Oh, well, there's this guy, Popularity Shaman. Greetings, fellow role player. Wait a second, I don't think I've seen you around here before. You do play dwarfs and druids, right? I'm a level 5 summoner. Look, I'd say you're a level 1 a flower boy. D&D, we level up based on experience, but we also have social ranks. Independent of each other, but they are both important. If you don't have any impressive social rank, you know, a ton of friends. You need popularity points to rank up. Ranking up is the number one rule since you're new. I'll help you up a bit. Just talk to me again when you're ready to learn more about it. You're so excited. I aim to get the best rank in this realm someday. Do as many quests as I can for the common folk to gain as many popularity points as possible. Rank up, you unlock new passive abilities. Good things come to those who, with good social rank. You're on your way, flower boy. Arr. Stop blowing out of the vents. Where's the janitor been anyway? Isn't that guy the janitor? Ooh. Exposition. Except not really, because this is a bit of torn newspaper. I can't read that newspaper. I can't enter that office. Uh, there was supposed to be another exit this way. But I guess I can't go through this exit yet? Um, is there anyone else in the quad? Oh, there's this person. Hark, mysterious traveller! Where are all thy weapons? It's not know anything about dwarfs and druids? Or perhaps thou is not, like, familiar with the number one rule. It's dangerous to go by yourself. That's Zelda 1. I'm, like, surprised you survived as long as you have. Need a seasoned instructor to teach you about your arsenal of weapons. We have... We'll have, like, a page in our mighty notebook that represents our inventory. It's a bunch of information about our equipment and stats and items. For equipments, hats, weapons, outfits, and accessories. For each type, just click them to view your equipment. Each type of equipment does something different for your set. 
Art thou confused? Very well. Let me put this into terms that help me understand. Water for warrior's soul. They add strength. Come in one hand or two hand for rights. Never carry fewer than 70% of weapons on your person at any time. Sorting the weapon of gods. God of weapons. Health, but thou can think of them as like weapons for your head. Far from the truth. A defense protect you from other finally accessories of special weapons that do a whole bunch of things. Cannot. A lot of weapons allow us, us mere mortals to wear two accessories. Yo, know, equip thy might for your inventory and talk to me again. I know how to do it. Ooh. Biro. Dried out marker. Oops, wrong button. Since I have seen such a fine weapon. Well done, young warrior. Keep collecting equipment and you'll be like exploring vast and you your level must be high enough to wear certain. This is to protect yourself from yourself. Uh alright. I don't know if there's anyone else out there, but one of the quests. Can I? I have a weapon, but I think that just adds to attack power? Alright, this bit wasn't explained well. How do I beat him up? You haven't explained that to me at all. Oh, okay, hang on. Here we go. Discuss differences. Trash tier. It offers a longer combo as its rank increases. Is this passive? So how do I... Melee combo. So how do I... I don't... Stop doing that. Like seriously, I don't understand how to equip skills in this game. Locker, bunch of people. Can't go that way. Alright, maybe if I go into my locker, something different will happen. Actually, what is my locker combination? Skill shop. Oh, here we go. Blinding logic. Um, I don't have the money to buy this skill. Locker. Oh, do I have to? I have to equip them through here. God, that could have been explained better. I'll equip to X for now. Whew. The way you destroy that fez is so manly. Now that you're all sweating and have to make SXP, Nins, why don't you use your locker and try ranking your skill up? Oh, I think I have to go to the skill shop. I think. No, that's not how you do it. Locker. Alright, so how do I rank skills up then? Oh, X to rank up. Oh my, you're just tearing for those little silly little mean hats. You have some more extremes. Go ahead and rank that big sexy skull up one more time at your locker. Alright. Alright, we're getting there. Next. Three uses. Alright. There you go. Now you know the seeks are ranking up to skills. When they hit a certain rank, they transform, but not all skills transform at the same ranks. Use that big brain of yours to figure it out on your own. Christ, I have to use my big brain just to figure out how to do things in this game. 
with me some more, I could show you some new skills. Alright, um... Also, didn't hand... There was a... Hat. Oh yeah! Oh yeah. Knowledge of skills will want to attain true power and nice hats. Alright. What took you so long? We found it forever ago. This is the key to the janitor's closet. All the classrooms were locked down weeks ago, so you'll need this his key to get into them. And it's closed in the East Hall. And his key should be in there somewhere. It's for a place to start looking for textbooks. Try the science room. That one was locked down first. You have everything you need to take the keys and go get us some textbooks. Alright. Uh, let's see if there's any... I don't have this key yet. So I'm just looking around to see if there's any uh, other things. Abby. Uh, let's save again as well. May as well. Alright, so that's how the quick save works, I guess. Uh, they said it was in his... Ooh. Who's this? The guy? Oh, my poor... Some heartless monster murdered my sweet Riley. Right over there, my baby was smashed on the floor. What kind of sick animal would do this? Would smush a poor old lady's friend. Oh, you can't begin to imagine my heartache. If her favourite bow wasn't attached to her tail, I might not have even recognised her. Smeared across the floor like a bug. Oh! I think she's talking about the mouse I trod on X. I didn't mean to tread on the mouse. Sheesh. <clears throat> my family. My only family. <laughs> Raised her from birth, I did. Oh, how she loved running around and playing with you kids while I worked the gardens. But more than you kids was a flower patch on the far side. And we spent there. If only I knew how precious the time was. Would you please bury her there for me? I can't take the heartache. Please bury her in her favourite flower patch. Neat in a sorrowful time like this. New item. Dead rat. So that's the main office. Uh, that's... Oh, no, that's where I came from. Alright. I think I have to go into the quad. To do this quest. The far side. There's old what's his face. I gotta remember some of these jumps require a big jump. Like that one there requires a big jump. Uh, that one didn't. Uh, that's Squirrel Boy. Alright, he's fine. I also healed at some point. Oh, hey, Death. Quite the view up here, eh? What do you got here? A smashed rat. Looks like little Riley. Well, that's a shame. Riley had a gene that could have reverse aging in humans. Too bad she lived with the batty gardener. Betcha, put me out of a job. Ah, oh, yeah, well, I'll bury her next to the other poor souls. Alright, that's that quest done. Uh, she's back in East Hall. That's just Riley's bow. She always loved this bow. I want you to have it. She would have wanted to thank you for burying her by the flowers. Riley loved flowers. Alright, so I should be able to equip that, right? I also have, like, t-shirts. In fact, why didn't it say anything about t-shirts. Alright, back in the main lobby. Popularity, Shaman, Bear. Wait. Wes? Where's the, uh... It's not over here. 
He's still a bear. Gotcha. Yeah, that's the main lobby. Alright, so... Wait, is this... Alright, this is where I had to go. Strange treasure chest. Alright, let's save again. Quick save. Uh, I think there's supposed to be a quest over here. Well, maybe that's just where I'm meant. Yeah, this is just where I'm meant to go. They'd have a thing over them if they had a quest. Uh. Okay. Science 101. Let's go! What's that say? Photosynthesis? Flying across my screen? Oh dear. Um, I, I don't have big jump. I can't get up there. I, I can't even see the ground. I can't jump on that pill either. I can't climb this speaker, that's fine. Uh oh. Earl the Flask. Ooh, level up. Nice. Plus 8 health, plus 5 defense, plus 1 muscle. Why is there just a bathroom here? It's a pretty odd place for a bathroom. Sure. Ooh, quest. Slay six fast to proceed. Alright. Is this tree blocking my path? What the hell is this thing? Salutations, small invertebrate. I would see you packed path is blocked. Press the button below and perhaps I can aid you on your way. Duck by pressing down on left stick, then press A to drop through platforms. Uh, quick. Oh, I keep hitting the wrong button. Huh, there are available quests. Oh, is that a bogus quest? Maybe it was a bogus quest. Alright. Because I only saw one flask. Uh, can I talk to you again? Is is that dirt under your fingernails? Uh, mm, I like to garden. I got that active. Can I claim whatever rewards in this map quest complete? Nice. All right. Didn't need to go back to the sign. I'll keep that in mind. Where's this floating eagle rock? Hey, hey, the eagle rock. Oh, I have to hold to open chest lab coats. What's this? Broken, broken glass, broken glass, broken glass, broken glass. Sell for like three pennies? Oh, it's a triceratops. Am I racing this thing? Benny Beaker.
Another level up. Oh, I heal when I level up. Uh, now's a good time for a, a pee break. Science 104, what the hell? Press space to pick up shiny objects, says. Try left bumper. Have you seen any of my relatives around here, have you? Alright. She's shinies, press... Ooh, lab goggles. Uh, what did I... Oh, I picked up spinach. Gives your biceps to glass? What? <clears throat> I can't use these items, by the way. I can't, like, eat them. Uh, there's two paths. This goes back to Science 101. I need to proceed to Science... Hi, Skeleton. Guess it's your birthday. You looking for a textbook? Well, you're too late. I already grabbed all the goods here for my boss. Of course, I could sell you one, but... Keep in mind, this is top quality stuff and it will cost you a pretty penny. Uh, I see a book right here. Why can't I have this book? That'll be five bucks. Well, I have five bucks, so I guess I'll buy it. I'll sell those though. I have 75 cents. Good job. I still don't know why I can't pick this up. Or punch that guy. Uh, that goes to 102. Wait. I'm in a different part of the stage. Well, wait, no I'm not. I thought I was in a different part of the stage, but it turns out I'm just an idiot. Uh, are there any quests? No side quests, no available quests. I took a while to load. Alright, Paul. Only one- well, it's not great, but it's a start. We're currently setting up shop, but we're almost ready. You take a short bathroom break. You've earned it for all of the stellar work you've done, Mr. Product Manager. It's just what he needs. Plus, we're legally obligated to give you one for every eight hours of work you put in. That's business law 101 stuff right there. Shops should all be set up when you come back. So go on, off to go to the bathroom, or I guess you could just walk away for a bit and come back and accept whatever cons there may be, whatever happened. Yep, I'd probably take that bathroom break right about now. Good idea. Uh, speaking of bathroom breaks, I also need to take one. I guess I'm doing some, uh, some funky dancing there, like just the old one of these. <sighs> Alright, it says equip a second skill. Um, do I have to buy said skill? I do have a hoozy for it, so I guess I'll go that. Go to locker. Uh, I'll just make it Y.
Assholes put the flowers in my locker and stole my lunch money. Yeah, it was a hilarious sending me to the hospital the last time. Fucking joke to people with deadly pollen allergies. I was one of you two. How to keep that into my locker. This is the last time it's going to happen. I'm going to send you both to the hospital. It wasn't us, Tim. Dan did it. Yeah, we didn't know anything about it. Who the hell is Dan? He's right here. He's new. Where did he get go? You pissed him off. We're out of here. Hey, huh? Well, I'll give you one chance to say sorry to me or else you're dead. Yeah, I don't talk, unfortunately. Say anything, huh? That's it? Oh, great. Gorilla Tim. Duck the punch. Yeah, I'm trying to duck. Yeah. Alright, well, died because no explanation. None. Zero. Whoop. Whoop. It's like, like, duck the punch. He's not punching, he's slamming. Slamming is not punching. Never has been, never will be. So I have to do this bit again. Oh! Okay, you actually have to just go straight up into this. Alright, so I think he's wearing glasses, which is why I can't necessarily blind him. That's how you're meant to do it. Wait for the things to come back if they go. Uh, they're fucking weird. Get away from my locker. <laughs> huh. End of. Wait, that was the end of prologue? I thought... Hey you, new kid! How the hell do you expect to do Jim in those goddamn antiques? Why am this I wearing... This school used to be number one for every sports and club worldwide, you know. The president himself awarded this very gym class with the most admirable gym class award. First of its kind. That is, of course, until a little mouth-breathing <clears throat> antique-wearing Neanderthals like you came around and ruined it for us with your goofy hair and civil rights! The only thing you came with was your hippie-ass sweatpants! As if you ever sweat a day in your life! Got anything to say for yourself, or am I just wasting breath? Why is the janitor also the gym teacher? But seriously, why am I wearing wingtips? I think that's what that type of shoe is, wingtips. Get out! Um... But yeah, we're on... I guess chapter one. Uh, let's, uh, save. Uh, there's no one in here. 
Lexi. <sighs> you better come to prom. After years of turning it down, they finally picked my theme. Where even are we at the moment? Alright, so I can go through that door, or the North Hall door. Um, I assume this actually goes back into the gym class. No, this is South Hall. Chad's Locker. Dwarves and Druids Club Storage Locker. Wait, is that my storage locker? Holly, parents are lawyers. And I told that if the school chef doesn't cook lunch again, that they would sue this sorry excuse for a school into the ground. That, of course, one is a healthy, gluten-free, vegan-friendly lunch with non-GMO, organic, locally grown produce. To the kitchen and suddenly the chef myself, but he just laughed and threw old lettuce at me. Who's this weirdo? Wowee! This here journal here sure is exciting! Not only does it keep track of everything I do, but it's downright funny to boot. I sure do feel sorry for those nice people aren't reading their journal. Is there a... There was someone there? Here, breathing. Can you help me? The bullies locked me in here. I, I don't know my combo. To contact my friends or family. <clears throat> uh, please, uh, if you could just get me out, that would be nice. Becca? Honest students are allowed access to the Why? How do they expect us to get better grades if we can't study? To this place. That goes to the main lobby. Uh, I should probably try talk- Oh, I already talked to you. Get out of my face. Flower boy to the Kai Guild Hall. Some of- all things dwarves and perhaps you are seeking new quests or a beautiful wench to satisfy your boredom? Step inside and let my brothers whisk away your aches and worries with this ale and roasted boar. Good fortune follow you. Alright, I'll go in here. Oh, it's the save guy. And purveyor of splendid things. How art thou a new combo to this holy place? Shop forever contain the wares that you seek, traveller. Uh, map upgrade, chest to chest. Reveals the location of chest to chest on your map. Uh, reveals the location of rogue ham melts on your page. Map quest on your map. Uh, reveals the location of textbooks on your map. I wish I could get upstairs to the, that new vent dungeon. It's been broken for weeks now, and the last time the weapons master carried me up there, everyone forgot about me. No need of vampire spirit lives in it. I probably missed out on great loot. <clears throat> Alright, can I go into the music and art lab? I can. I can also go into that portrait. And the, well, portrait? Mirror? Uh, who's this guy? Why is he holding a skull of a demon? Any thoughts of this cow skull? I found it rather lovely when I first spotted it. It's a bit, um, a rotty. However, stinky. Wash my hands. Oh, great. Evil, like, chimera... ...place. Well, I'm gonna call them chimeras. I don't think they're chimeras. What's the, like, wingling equivalent of chimeras? <clears throat> oh, you. Why are you here? Wake Up Day football match was announced this morning, so the whole school's buzzing over it. To our heroes, Eli Bavarius and Kent Hangerman. Between you and me, I'm glad that Utopia kicked the bucket. It ain't about all that high society. I just want to lie down under the stars in the vast endless rolling dunes, a beautiful desert, and sing along with the prairie dogs. That's the life for me. Can't go that way. The bear's gone. This is the same newspaper. Hello, student Daryl Whitelaw. I hope you are enjoying your second day of school. If you're going to exist in the cough way during class hours, make sure to have a hall pass. Have a good day. Alright, let's go into the quad. 
I don't know if uh, what's her face is a uh, uh, combination is out here. Uh, remember? Oh, crap! Hang on. Oh shoot him. I gotta do the run jump for that. I've already forgotten. Uh, Squirrel Boy's still here. Oh, he says the same thing. He doesn't say anything new. Um, what's his face is not here either. All right. <clears throat> Nothing exciting out there. Uh, I also don't have dash. I just noticed I can't dash. There must be a passive or something. All right, let's go into the east hall. There's a door here now. This one's closed. Where does this door go? Uh, Chef's Flex. Oh, great! Oh, so what? You gonna give me shit about not ordering food no more, too? Ain't gonna apologize or explain myself to nobody. Tell you what, you want me to make something today? You get it and bring it to me yourself. Sick of all the little bastards coming in here, my kitchen, telling me what I ain't doing right. We got a deal or we got a deal? Either way, why don't you get out of here? Collect food from around the school to give it to Chef Flex. I like this stabbed goat? Antelope? I don't know what he's got stabbed here, but it ain't pleasant. Alright, no. Oh, we can go upstairs as well? Sheesh! Hey there, handsome. Where have you been? All morning. Listen, I totally forgot to mention an important part of number one rule. Those mean hats are just one of your big sex. There are other ways to earn it. Total free ways to earn SXP in DD. It's in monsters. Friend me, it grants you equal to whatever regular it gives you. So doing quests for damsels in distress like me. That means you get equal to the amount too, like Beating up silly in heads, and I know you're great at that, cutie. It would have been easy to just say, whenever you earn regular XP, you also earn an equivalent amount of SXP too. Thirdly, and this one is only for skill experience. Met the Keeper Quest, you know that knowledge is the number two rule of dwarves in it. Yes, you can trade knowledge for SXP and quick boost to rank up a skill. You need as a textbook and access to your locker. Here, give you one of my old textbooks to try it with. Let's go to your locker and convert this old gross textbook into a brand new skill experience. It will match mine in no time. Alright, so... Do I go in here? Because I have one textbook. Oh, I'm. I have to convert it so I can convert textbooks to skill experience. But you also need textbooks to buy skills. I get it. So that's converted. There you go, Hanson. Now you know the secret of earning SXP. You trade textbooks at any time at your locker. To catch though, you earn more if you're a higher level. Worry, sexy. This school is full of old textbooks, so no need to pour them. One more textbook for doing such a great job. I'll see you around, cutie. Oh, hey, it's Daniel. Uh, my name's Daryl. There you are. I already started making the rounds. A tad bit late to your second day of work, aren't you? Wearing the same clothes as yesterday too. 
So are you guys. Wait, is that a text? Look at that, Paul. Found us some more products. Well, look at that. I gotta admit, I didn't see this one coming. Why don't you step into our shop and take a look at some more of those self-help pages? Make a ton of friends in no time. And there's a task thing there. <clears throat> oh, yeah, some of them do cost two. Uh, shocking statements, mopping up. Uh, Dark Coast's Fist and Fine brings the smack down. Finesse in Archery. Uh, like, like a menu act in both directions. You're about to be pulled by a giant heavy thing on a stick. Uh, I'm gonna get this, I think. And then I'm gonna equip it to my R button. Finesse in Archery. Okay. Players should do in business. Now, on to more, uh, serious matters. Late today and you're still wearing the same clothes as this. that this is a problem, right? You know, to at least show up on time and be presentable. How else will you we rise to success together? Let's not forget that you, you blamed all of your climbs on us and left us alone with an angry Tim yesterday. Very nice. We're all supposed to be friends, you know. Devin. Put us in a bit of a pickle with your careless behaviour. Wait, my name's... whatever. How can we compete with trench coat if all we're doing is running around lying ceiling and being late to business meetings? It's to offer products that is cheaper, cleaner, and more pure than what he sells. Manager is a vital one. Speaking of clean, this text where you bought us yesterday is filthy. Cleaning a mud puddle on your way back or something? Today's is even worse. Lately, your normally stellar quality of work is leaving a bit to be desired. However, you ruin those texts. However, you ruin these is irrelevant. We can't possibly sell them like this. We, they see us selling dirty textbooks. You made, or we simply can't be friends. Why don't you take the stolen key you have to the janitor's and find us some book spray? Fix this textbook good as new. Condone our ethical business, but your poor upbringing has molded you to steal and lie to get these done. And damn it, getting things done is exactly what we need around here. Mind you, tell you about our play task list. Very busy, this business behind the scenes and dealing with problems that you wouldn't understand. Play, we're going to have to start taking on some more mindless tasks. Suit you perfectly. Every time something new pops up, we'll post it on the back board over there. Lock it. These tasks may simple. Be, seems them, but they are now your number one priority, alongside your other number one priority, which is to get us book spray. Who knows what kind of opportunities will arise for us for doing them? Is it part of your job to do these tasks? Surely we can work out some sort of story to be proactive with them, though. I don't want you getting mixed. I only have to handle one of these tasks at a time. Prove yourself worthy, maybe we'll. Yeah, get to work. We better see that by the end of the day. Where was the janitor's closet again? Oh, there's a bear. Gym lobby. Chelsea's locker. Science lab. I assume I can handle one of these now. It's because he has a small army of goons in every dark corner. Humble too many. And lucky for us, he hasn't taken into account our secret goon. Purchase pretty much anything that their filthy customers try to sell. To this day, think that they won't buy it. Although they start ignoring us when we open the. T they buy everything at only their. Please. Anyway, we can use this stupid of theirs to their advantage. They all of the and bring their day's earnings and push this to the Pinchgate King. In hand, we need you to do something that we've never been able to do. Oh, go get a bunch of bat crap from the vents and sell them to one of the trench coats. Buy it off you, no question out, and then I'll turn over victims for the rest of the day. Try to get it on camera if you can.
can. No vertical videos. <laughs> Don't let us down. There, okay, there is way too much going on. Uh, isn't this it? Oh, this is the janitor's closet. But it's not now. Uh, I had to get into the vents as well. There, this has gone from being small to being way large. Alright, we're upstairs. Bathroom. Ken's locker. There's Jesse. Wake up day. Not as much as me, I bet. Thing is crazy, like the entire world woke up from some crazy mess and then world peace ended. So here, my parents told me all about it. If you can end the world, no matter what else they could do, eat all books on sight. Burning effigy, so. I can't wait for Chelsea's wake old wake up party this year. They're always crazy. Hey again, I uh, hope you decide to stay away from those idiots downstairs. But trouble, trust me. But hey, Wake up day this Friday? It's crazy to think that they actually graduated from you know. It's such a small world. Oh, didn't you know? Where it all so? Well peace originated here, in waterfalls. It's like, it's wild how much power just two people can have and everything they can do with it. <laughs> Jessica's locker, literature. Can I go into this door? Apparently not. There's a trench coat employee, Drew's locker. Uh, also Drew. I saw this awesome documentary last night about a guy who can eat glass. It's really inspiring. If you could do that, I would have a ton of friends and be rich. Hey you, look like a guy that can do, get things done. Get me 10 pieces of glass, preferably broken. I'm sure I could cut you in on the, my future career as a glass eater. Give it a shot? Yes. Yes I can. Paranormal Club. Ghost Sucker. Alright, this goes back to the North Force. So upstairs. Wait, how do I get to the bats then? And is this thing still open? Excellent. 